Yo, 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 what is up, my gladiator? Sam here, and we are back once again with some more solo content. Yes, this is more that solo stuff. This game is much like the press the button game because it gives you a question. It gives you two questions, and then you decide which one you would do, and then afterwards you see the percentage of the people who then voted on that answer. And it's very, very straightforward and very simple, unlike the other one. This is just very clean and simple. Would you rather be deaf or be Amish? Now, these are very tough questions. Be deaf, I can't hear anything. That's really difficult because I don't know if I want to be deaf. I would not be able to do YouTube. I would not be able to do a lot of the stuff that I want to do. Or be Amish. I don't want to be Amish either. I wouldn't want to be Amish at all. But here's the maybe the, the trick is maybe I could just be Amish for a little for a time and then go back to be normal because deaf is your you can't unbe deaf right but you could maybe unbe Amish maybe you're just Amish for a week so maybe maybe that would be the answer that I would do 51 percent wow that's really really cut down the middle people do not want to be Amish they would be like I'd rather have my video games and not be able to hear than have to work in the fields okay so next question would you rather live in the world overrun by zombies or live in a world of My Little Pony? Overrun by zombies or My Little Pony? Okay, zombies sounds horrible, dreadful, pain, misery, and suffering. My Little Pony is just like happiness and, and adventures and stuff like that. That does not sound that bad compared to overrun by zombies. So, I mean... Just logically, I think my life would just be happier if it were in a happy, wonderful cartoon world than zombie apocalypse, right? 53%. Wow, people are really split on the middle of that. Because if you're taking this literally, if you would literally do that, you would probably just die if it were zombies. You would be turned into a zombie. My Little Pony, you could probably go on adventures with the ponies. I don't know their names, but you'd be able to go on Fluttershy. That's one. You'd be able to go on adventures with Fluttershy. That sounds way better than being eaten alive by zombies, right? I think that would make sense. Would you rather get a free appetizer with every meal or get a free dessert with every meal? A free appetizer or get a free dessert? I mean, a free dessert. I like dessert. I just choose dessert. 62%. Hey, people are kind of agreeing with me there. Okay, would you rather be Aquaman or be the human torch aquaman or the human torch i think maybe because you can swim underwater you can do a lot of cool stuff as aquaman you can also talk to fish the torch the human torch i mean mm, aquaman okay would you rather kill someone and have nobody know not kill someone but have everyone think you did you know what this is a tough question i would not kill a person and I would be okay with everyone thinking that I did, as long as I know within myself that I didn't. And I've heard this scenario actually uh, occur to some people. I was actually listening to like a story on YouTube where this guy was accused of murdering someone. And then uh, he clearly didn't do it, but he was thrown in jail and all these terrible things happened to him. And everyone thought he did it, but then he proved him wrong, right? And I think I would try to prove my prove everyone wrong because at the beginning, sure, they're, they're going to think that you did it, but eventually I think you could prove them wrong. So I'm going to go with this one. Wow! Wow! 75%? Are you kidding me? That is disgusting. That is absolute... I, I am... I'm just shocked for humanity on uh, this question. 75% of people would like to kill someone as long as no one knew about it. Jesus Christ. This game just got disturbing. <laughs> really, really disturbing. <laughs> wow. I don't even know. Um, would you rather kill your best friend and kill your best friend and $1 million? Or be killed and end world of hunger. Okay, wait. I kill my best friend and get a million dollars. Or I be killed and end world of hunger. I don't think either of these... I'm not even going to answer the question. I'm sorry. I'm skipping this one. It's just too crazy. I would not want to consider killing a friend. But then killing myself. Like... You, you kill your friend or kill yourself, basically. I, I don't even want to answer that question. Okay, would you rather meet the Pope 
or be the Pope. Uh, I'd just rather meet him. I would not want to be the Pope. Yeah, 70%. I don't want to be the Pope. Like, why would you want to be the Pope? Um, would you rather go to heaven or hell or be reborn into a better, worse, better slash worse life? Mm. I think I'd rather be reborn. I don't know what heaven or hell is, but life is pretty nice. And being reincarnated sounds pretty cool because you get to go through the adventure of life all over again, over and over. That I think I'd rather do this. Wow, yeah, well, actually people kind of agreed with me on that one. Almost a million, there's so many votes, which is crazy. They're just a ridiculous amount of votes. Would you rather be Batman or be Superman? I think Batman, because I like that he doesn't actually have superpowers, right? Like he isn't necessarily a superhero. He's just really awesome and has gadgets. And I like the idea of just truly being awesome instead of having superpowers. Like having superpowers is cool, but the idea of just being so good that you don't even need superpowers um, is enticing. Wow, people kind of agree with me on that one. I mean, Superman can fly and shoot laser beams, but Batman, he's self-sufficient. I think people like that. Would you rather only be able to laugh at violently racist jokes or only be able to laugh at intricate Star Trek jokes? Now here's something about myself. I do laugh at racist jokes. I think we all do. I think when we're hanging out with, with our friends, we may say a racist joke every now and then. And that's what friends do. And so I laugh at racist jokes. I go, oh, that's really messed up. So I kind of like the idea of just the worst racist, horrible joke ever. And intricate Star Wars jokes, and, or Star Trek jokes and that, not really for me. So I'm gonna go with, with this one. Actually, people kind of agree. They're actually kind of 50-50, but more so on this one, which it kind of makes sense because we all kind of do that. Would you rather be as you are now or have $100 million and have a 5% chance of instant death? Why would I want, no, why would I, no. I would rather be as I am now. And wow, people would actually do $100 million. Even if it didn't have, here's the thing, here's the thing. Get this, even if it didn't have, uh, have a 5% chance of instant death and it just gave me the $100 million, I still wouldn't take it. I like accomplishing it on my own. If I just get it free willy nilly and I didn't have to do anything, that's boring. What's the point of your life if you're not working for something? Oh, would you rather have it snow for the rest of your life or rain for the rest of your life? Ooh, I like the rain. I like, it's so nice when it's raining out and I'll sit, I'll sit um, near my window, I'll read a book, I'll cozy up, right? And I just like the sound of the rain. But I know that if it's raining all the time, there's no sunlight, there's no nothing then people like, that's depressing. Like we need sunlight and stuff. Maybe if it were a light drizzle, like it depends on the amount of rain. But I mean, of course, if it's snowing, then it's, it's it may not be as sunny out. Um, I think rain, I think I'm gonna go with rain. I like rain maybe more so. Wow, people would rather have snow. I mean, you can do a lot with snow. There's a lot of cool stuff you can do with snow, but I kind of like the feeling of rain, it's more cozy. Would you rather like a public bathroom floor, lick a public ba bathroom floor, lick a public bathroom stall handle? Oh, I'm gonna do the floor because if it were the floor, I would choose a corner, very, very far in the corner where no one is walked and lick that part of the corner instead of licking the handle, which you know for a fact people have, have like touched, right? So uh, the floor, wow, people would rather lick the stall handle. Would you rather consistently stumble when walking or consistently stutter when speaking? Well, I need my speech. I need the ability to speak because I'm always stuttering, then I can't make YouTube videos, can I? And I can make YouTube videos if I just kind of stumble when I walk. I mean, it's kind of lame if you're stumbling when you're walking because I like to go places, but I like my speech, I like my voice, I like being able to say things and not stutter, right? Would you rather play Fight Night, Halo, ODST, or play Horde, Gears of War? This is hilarious! I used to play both of these game modes all the time! Like, when I was in high school, I would play Halo, ODST all the time with my friends. I would have LAN parties, right? I would have all my friends come over. We would have these massive parties. I would get pizza, set up all these TVs. We would have like four TVs 
four Xboxes, link them all together, right? And then hold these crazy parties where we would just play Gears of War or Halo for the entire day, hours and hours and hours. And then we would have like people from my school would come over and then they would bet on like who's the better Halo player or who's better at Gears of War. We would do 1v1s and like hold tournaments and stuff. And I was like really good. I got so good at Halo. Like I even went to tournaments and then I played with the creators of the game, the uh, Bungie creators. Um, so that was kind of like my first uh, claim to fame was I was like kind of pro at Halo and if you look at my stats There's actually videos on YouTube of me just wrecking in Halo playing against um, some really uh, Playing against the creators and stuff. So if you guys want to check that out You can just type in Sam Gladiator Halo, but which one would I rather play? I think Gears of War Horde was better than Halo ODST So I'm gonna have to go with that but in, but as a game in, in a whole for the multiplayer aspect I think Halo was better. I just simply enjoyed it more than Gears of War, but for the particular game mode, I think Gears had it. And people don't necessarily agree with me, but I did enjoy Gears more for that game mode. I went on a huge tangent there, but I love Halo and Gears of War. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, would you rather wear high heels or wear a dress? How long do I have to wear these high heels? How long do I have to wear this dress? Is it for life? It's just kind of like a one-time thing. If it's a one-time thing, I mean, I would wear goofy outfits for a video. I don't think I would really care for either of these. I would just do both because I'd do it for a video. I would totally wear a dress for a video. I mean, I would do crazy stuff because that's just funny. But if I, if I have to wear it for my whole life, like, I don't know if I'd want to do that. Would you rather play a game of Quidditch? Oh, Harry Potter. We're getting some Harry Potter stuff in here. Or take a field trip with Miss Frizzle. I don't even know who that is. I, I, I feel like I'm going to anger everybody because i don't know who miss frizzle is i'm just gonna do quidditch as i like quidditch yeah people agree with me i don't know frizzles but i know quidditches would you rather swim in a pool of poop uh, i already don't like that i don't would you rather get your head stuck in the elephant's rear end oh my god oh my god well i think i think here's the here's the answer the elephant's rear end would probably crush your skull. Let's be, let's think about this realistically. An elephant's rear end would just crush your head like a freaking watermelon. Okay, so I think you would die. I think that would literally kill you. And why would you wanna die by getting your head squished by an elephant's rear end? No, 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 not for me. I think the swimming in the poop, and people agree, the swimming in the poop is way better. Ooh, 37%, 400,000 people would rather get their head in an elephant's rear end. Wow, they, I don't know. Read the book or see the film. I'm a huge film fanatic. I am the biggest film fanatic of all time. I will literally watch a movie almost every single day. After I work, after I do my workout and I go for a run and stuff, and then I come back home and I filmed all my videos, I done all my editing, I go and I snuggle up, I get some hot chocolate, get my little, my little blanket, and I cozy in there and I watch a film. I love films, that's my favorite thing. So I'm gonna see a film, like, yeah, people kind of agree with me on that one. So that's the end of the video. I think we're going to just kind of stop it here. These are some really good questions. I really enjoyed answering them. And some of them were a little crazy. Some of them were a little outlandish. And I'm just like, ah, uh, I don't know about this one. But I think overall, that was really, really fun. I probably want to try this game again. If you guys want to see more, um, you know, just leave a like. Leave the, in the comment what you guys would answer for these questions. If you agree with me or not. I mean, we all have our own opinions. So you may, you may or may not agree with me you know to each their own i definitely think with the poop and the and the elephant rear end i think poop is just clearly better i mean i don't think anyone can argue with me on that you i don't think you'd want to die in an elephant's bum <laughs> all right so we're gonna end it here hopefully you guys enjoyed if so please hit it with a like and i'll see you guys in the next episode goodbye to me gizzy i i don't know this is gizzy guy that played this right now did he just actually trap me i don't know if that's a real gizzy guy i'm gonna have to like